this is number one. So today we are going to start the very first class of financial accounts.
we're talking about financial account, right? So, <coughs> so we have already discussed that is accounting related to the business. In business, all the transactions should be accounted, right? So first of all, we look forward what do you mean by business and what are the different kinds of businesses there. Where we have to maintain the different kinds of financial reporting or financial accounts. Business, any kinds of entity, any kinds of entity that actually <coughs> transacted goods and services in exchange of money. We can go that Bapsha Bote Bujai Bapsha, any kinds of business is a kind of entity that transacted or that actually exchanges goods and services in exchange of money. Jotu Bapsha, you share either service provider, either will be a service provider or goods manufacturer. Kishan Mantome, in exchange of money, that is business. For our betterment, depend upon the ownership. Who own the business depend upon the ownership, we can divide this business into three different groups. So trader, partnership, so trader partnership and limited liability. So, depending upon the ownership, that means who owns the business or who actually is the main owner of the business, depend upon that criteria, we can divide any kinds of business in these three different segments. So, trader, partnership, limited liability. What do you mean by sole tradership? A business which is totally supported, established, set it and controlled by one individual. Here the individual actually invests all kinds of capital. That's why that individual himself is entitled to any kinds of profit or loss conducted by the business. That is all about some tradition. Right? So anyone can start or anyone can establish a kind of business and be the sole trader. Partnership. There may be several kinds of desire. Two or more people come together with a, a specific intention. They actually invest capital, they invest capital, but initially the fact is they actually make some specific agreement which is called partnership agreement. Within the agreement, they actually initially agreed how the profit and losses that is gonna arise for the business, how these profit and losses will be shared in between. That is all about partnership. That is, group of people come together with an intention to start a kind of business, right? But the fact is, there is obviously a kind of partnership deed or agreement where they actually agree how the profit and loss of the business should be shared in between. That is all about partnership business. In these two kinds of business, these are the same, just like the same. Only difference is here. One individual is entitled, or one individual actually is all But here, number of people, it may be family, member, it may be friends, and something else just like that. So, so trader and partnership are just like the same. <coughs> you have to focus one important thing in this sort of sentence. Either in the sole trader or in the partnership. If the business become insolvent, bankrupt, any kinds of liability arises, sole trader or the partner, either sole trader or the partner, they are totally liable to meet up those kinds of obligations. Suppose to be sole trader, you are website that you have to arise Webshar asset bikri koran koreo jodhi toman liability thakke You have to meet up those obligations by using your own asset That means here both the owners either sole trader or partners They are totally liable for any kinds of liability arises 
But here the business name is limited liability companies. Limited liability. By the way, we are saying that <coughs> the owners of these kinds of business, their liability is limited to some sort. So here we are saying about the big organizational companies whose capital actually established through issuing number of shares. By purchasing share, anybody can become the owner of the limited liability company. Why they are limited liability company? Because here the owner's liability is only the amount hours within the share, not more than that. Suppose as for example, you purchase a share whose face value is $100 or whose price is suppose $100. So your obligation or liability just to provide that $100, not more than that, if the company becomes bankrupt. Company bankrupt, any kinds of liability obligation comes forward. But owner wants to put general liability, only the price of the share he purchased, not more than that. But here, both owners, are liable to meet up any kinds of obligations. That's why this is called limited liability company. That means here, owner's liability is limited just to pay for the price of the share, not more than that. Clear? So this is the <coughs> discussion. But you have to memorize or you have to remember one important notes here. When you are going or when you step forward to make some account or go for making the accounts of any kinds of business, any kinds of business. For accounting purpose, business should be recognized as a kind of separate entity. For accounting purpose, business should be recognized as a kind of separate entity. What does it mean? That means when you are maintaining accounts, in that case either you are in sole or in partnership or in limited liability. Every case as you have to recognize your business for what for what entity you are making the accounts. That entity should be recognized as a kind of separate entity than the owners. That's why suppose you are the sole owner of your business. If you draw any kinds of amount, still you have to record that. Why? Because you are drawing from your business. Business is a separate entity. So for accounting purpose, all these business should be recognized as a separate entity. But by law, by law, law of the law of the law of the law. But by law, only limited liability company is an individual or a specific entity and recognized as a kind of specific individual entity. Law is law of Limited liability company means just like a person. Clear? But for accounting purpose, all this business, for accounting purpose, you have to recognize all these kinds of business as a kind of separate entity that is Clear? So this is kinds of business for what we are going to maintain different kinds of financial accounting records. Now, <coughs> so, Business means transaction. Right? What about the kinds of business we have discussed already? Any kinds of business, business have to <coughs> do transaction or commit transaction with other. Number of transactions should be there. For accounting purpose, each and every transaction should be recorded with the kinds of evidence. For accounting purpose, each and every transaction committed by the business with other party should be recorded with a kinds of evidence. Shamost transaction ki kutthabe, record kutthabe. Ebon shita kishar maddhame, evidence shahakare. As for example, <coughs> if the business commit any kinds of credit sale, credit sale, there is obviously kind of invoices. Invoice means proof evidence we will discuss this later on. so for every transaction committed by the business of the organization should be recorded with a specific kinds of evidence without the evidence you cannot maintain any kinds of transaction or you cannot <coughs> prove any kinds of existence of a kind of transactions 
সাপোর্টিং ডকুমেন্ট এবং এভিডেন্স ছাড়া ব্যবসায় কোনো ট্রানজাকশন শো করা যাবে না বিকজ এন্ড অফ দা ডে দা বিজনেস শুড বি অডিটেড তাহলে আমরা বুঝলাম যে ট্রানজাকশন শুড বি রেকর্ডেড উইথ কাইন্ডস অফ এভিডেন্স এন্ড দিস রেকর্ডিং when you comes for this recording that this transaction should be recorded this recording cannot be done whimsical there are some standard format the format you have to go through <coughs> journal laser trial balance balance sheet we have already discussed but we will go later so this recording should be based on some specific formula or principles that principle actually comes to the financial accounting accounting or financial reporting which is normally called gap gap generally accepted accounting principles so transactions are recorded now the fact is in the other day <coughs> we have already discussed the transaction should be summarized so that it can communicate to the end user and this summary actually comes through SOCI number one SOCI statement of comprehensive income I mean we'll leave this in a board just discuss for you one is statement of comprehensive income or we can say income statement income statement what do you mean by this ami ekta byabsha kortechi revenue revenue that is cash generated by the business by selling through different kinds of income etc etc so byabshay income thakbe এক্সপেন্স থাকবে আয় থাকবে ব্যয় থাকবে আয় ব্যয়ের ডিফারেন্সটাই কি হবে আইদার প্রফিট হবে অথবা লস হবে তাহলে দেখো তোমাকে যদি আমরা হিসাব জিজ্ঞাস করি তোমার ব্যবসা গত বছর কী করছে লাভ করছে নাকি লস করছে দ্যাট ইজ হাউ ইউ পারফর্ম ইন ইউর বিজনেস লাস্ট ইয়ার দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াট ইজ ইউর পারফরমেন্স ইন ইউর বিজনেস ইন লাস্ট ইয়ার ওয়েন দ্য কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ জাস্ট লাইক দিস দ্য আনসার ইজ আইদার ইউ কমিটেড প্রফিট আর ইউ কমিটেড লস লাস্ট ইয়ার if your revenue is more than expenses if your income is more than expense then you have committed profit last year if your income is less than expenses that you committed loss in the last year this is called performance what kinds of performance financial performance so soci statement of comprehensive income or income statement what does it represent it represent the financial performance financial it represents the financial performance of a business financial performance of a business for a specific time period the time period normally comprised by 6 months or maybe normally one year that is how your business perform in last year how your business perform in 2018 how your business perform in 2016 that means whether your business commit profit or loss so the fact is profit <coughs> and loss comes through by making comparison between two different factor that's why this soci has two different factors components you can say one is income another is expenses <laughs> so income statement has two different components income and expenses if your income for a specific period one year is more than expense then your performance that means you committed profit if your income is less than the expenses created then you committed loss your performance that you committed loss in last year that is all about income statement <coughs> then another thing that is sofp so 
FP, Statement of Financial Position. <coughs> SOFP, Statement of Financial Position. It is a non-nam balance sheet. Balance sheet. So what does it represent? SOFP represents the financial state, financial situation, financial position, or you can say financial condition of three different components: asset, capital, and liability at a specific date. Difference will be clear. That is, <coughs> SOFP represent asset, capital, these are the three different components and your financial SOFP represent what is the state, condition or position of these three different components at a specific date. That's why when you build up or when you going to establish any kinds of balance sheet, initially <coughs> you will put a specific date. That is 31st December 2018. Here, as suppose as for example, you take dollar. It represent that is at 31st December 2018 your asset position is 10 dollars that's why we are saying this is not performance this is the financial state position or condition of asset capital and liability at a specific date but income statement for a specific period your performance clear এই আলোচনা খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট তোমাদের পরীক্ষা পরীক্ষায় যে क्वेश्चनগুলো আলোচনা হবে क्वेश्चन আসবে কনসেপচুয়াল क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव टू आंसर इफ यू गाइस आर वेरी मच क्लियर अबाउट दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ कांसेप्ट इट इज वेरी मच इजी फॉर यू मेक एनी काइंड ऑफ सर আমি যে একটা বললাম না আজকে যে আমি রাতে এটা একটা সফট কপি পাঠাবো ব্লগ দেয়া থাকবে যতটুকু ব্লগগুলো খালি রিডিং করবে সব তোমরা জানো বুঝা গেছে ওকে so this is so then we say that in of the way we also create cash flow cash flow statement this cash flow statement is one of the important chapter in your f3 segment because 10 mark question normally. 10 mark question comes to this cash flow statement. So it is one of the important chapter and even it is one of the most important fundamental chapter for financial accounting. Because end of the day, as you have to make SOFP, SOCI, even at the same time you have to create cash flow statement. CF cash flow statement. <coughs> Later on we will discuss a chapter on cash flow. So what do we mean by cash flow statement? Before discussing the cash flow statement, you have to memorize one important sentence, one important fact you can say. A business may be profitable, still it can have to face cash flow problem. On the other hand, a business is unprofitable. A business is committing loss, still it has huge amount of cash. Business is a kind of profitable business, but still the business may face cash flow problem and cash is one of the important source or important factor for business to operate because when you have to provide different kinds of payment to your suppliers, different kinds of payments to your debtors, if you do not have cash, you become insolvent, bankrupt, right? Jokun taka dorkar, tokun amar profit dorkar nai, amar taka dorkar. So profit is important, cash is more important than profit. 
So it may be possible that is your business is profitable, but still you have cash flow problem. On the other hand, you are committing loss, but still you have huge amount of cash. So how you can <coughs> represent or how you can focus on this sentence? The profit, that for cash flow problem, kind of out, right? We have already discussed that is we actually can make profit through. Income statement or a statement of comprehensive income. When you build up the income statement, income statement means sales. Sale minus different types of expenses, it will provide you profit. Here, sale may be cash sale, sale may be credit sale. Suppose in a specific time period, you have sold out hundred dollar of any kind of item on credit. That means you do not have money. You just sold out the item to your customer with a credit terms. You do not have any kinds of cash receipt. Still, you have to represent it as a kind of sale. Taka patcho na dekha chhu taka sale. That's why your company may be profitable, but you do not have that much cash. So this is the reason that means when you are going to build up the SOCI statement of comprehensive income or income statement, it is obvious that you will deal with different kinds of transactions or accounts which are non-cash related accounts. So by or with that with dealing dealing with the non-cash item, your company may be profitable, but still you have to face the cash flow problem. Here, so that's why on the other hand you can say unprofitable business may have used amount of cash. So we'll discuss this later. So end of the day we need to find out or we need to know the cash flow situation of our business so that we can go for making future decisions. So the balance sheet is going to be done, income statement is going to be done, and cash flow statement is going to be done. Then another important thing that is <coughs> Changes in owners' equities. Changes in owners' equities. Changes in owners' equities. What does it mean? Just think an example. I will discuss with a kind of example. Suppose the limited liability company. Initially, it started with some shares of Amazon. Share. This is share capital. That means investment through the shareholders. So this is the start of capital. End of the day, business makes some profit. Right? Business makes some profit and profit is a part of capital we have discussed. Suppose as for example, there is profit is $10. So your capital become 100 Ten dollar. That means with the opening and the closing, there is a ten dollar increase in capital. That means equity change. What's about to go? Equity means another synonym of equity is capital. So end of the day, we'll discuss this later on in the chapter. This is the normal case. That means we have to find out the changes in owners' equities. Equities may be increased. Equity may be decreased. We have to build up a statement according to that. So we have already gone through conceptual part of SOCI, SOFP, cash flow, and changes in owners' equities. These are the four fundamental part that you have to build up end of the day with the financial force. <coughs> changes in owners' equities. That means what are the changes actually brings to the business? In owner's capital, opening and closing, opening and closing, but there will be change for the two questions. So we'll build up this today's statement. I'm going to discuss the better chapter. I'm going to just put this key keyboard. Clear? So what are the four fundamental things of financial accounting? SOCI, SOFP, cash flow statement, changes in owner's equities.
and through this fundamental part these are kind of presentation data presentation you have to build up or you have to go through this data presentation through some specific principles which we'll discuss later on accounting <coughs> accounting is very much easy easy thing but the fact is each and every day you have to know some steps and you have to accumulate all these steps with the accumulation of this step that is your accounting knowledge clear je kono ami protom theke shuru korlam this data process now <coughs> what do you mean by now we we'll discuss component of so if we have discussed only the this asset capital land statement of financial position represent the financial state financial position or condition of these three component so what do you mean by this components <coughs> first we will focus on asset 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 is a kind of resources any kinds of resources possessed owned and controlled by the business asset is any kinds of resources that possessed owned and controlled by the business because of some past transaction with an intention that it will create economic benefit for the business organization just think an example suppose today i buy a truck for my business i buy a truck for my business <clears throat> so when i'm buying this truck i have an intention that by using this truck i can have some economic benefit a truck ta i can rent this truck i can distribute my own materials through this truck so it will provide me or it will generate economic benefit for me right so asset means any kinds of resources possessed owned and controlled by the business because of some past transaction ami kinar porei to eta amar position e ashbe tai na ami ajke kinlam dhabo to kalke ami bolte parbo eta amar truck so possessed owned and controlled by the business because of some past transaction and why you are doing this transaction with an intention that it will create economic benefit for yourself that's why those are asset now the fact is <clears throat> how much time this will create economic benefit or what is your intention depend upon this this asset are two kinds current assets are two kinds current asset non current asset try to memorize the examples cash raw material inventory or working process inventory or finished goods inventory inventory is the stock this is the that means if you sell on credit to your customer that means you have provide credit then the customer become your is the short term investment you can purchase shares of a kind of company you can purchase debenture or securities of a com company with an intention that you will you will sell these shares or debentures or loan notes within a short period of time for money amon hote pare je khel kore dekho i can i can purchase shares of a company to become the owner of that company number one on the other hand suppose i am in the stock 
On the other hand, I can purchase the share with an intention that when the share price appraises within one to three months, I will sell that. That's why that is kind of short term investment. So if you focus my example, inventory, why you stock the material? You stock the material so that you can sell this within one accounting period means 12 months. Less than 12 months. So you are making inventory to sell this inventory within one, two, three, not more than three, three, four, five, six months. Cash. You are maintaining cash to run your daily operation. <coughs> this is well. You are selling on credit to your customer. Your cake turns normally not more than three months. Right? One month to two months. Short term investment, the intention that it is you sell those shares for investment with three months. So focus on this. All these are very much easily cash converted. You can sell the inventory. Right? <clears throat> and you are creating these kinds of asset with an intention that these asset will generate economic benefit within a short economic period and normally within one accounting period. Well, these are easily cash converting no? Intention to generate economic benefit within one accounting period, right? And you are doing these kinds of things with an intention that it will say you sell this. The shop kept you that with my intention that you touch for a sale. Right? On the other hand, if you think about the non-current asset, <coughs> PPE. <coughs> Equipment, PPE, plant, then <coughs> take an example. Suppose first I show. Machines. Suppose as for example machines. Machineries. Did I come up back? No, I will never. Plant. Building. Office. Equipment. Take to calculate. These are the asset. You are investing money to create these kinds of asset, not with the intention that it will you sell this. Suppose I want to manufacture kinds of paint. So I need to have some plant. Then a plant like Barikin la building kumpa. So there is no intention that it will you will sell this. Machinery skin to sell color general. These are not easily cash convertible. There is no intention that it will, you will sell this. But intention that this will provide you economic benefit for more than one accounting period. Then these are non-current asset. Depend upon the business criteria, some current asset, some current asset of one business may be the non-current asset of another business. Suppose as for example, you are the manufacturer of pen. Today, <coughs> a truck or van, you buy a van or truck to deliver your item. For your business purpose, this truck or van is a kind of non-current asset. Because you buy the truck to use the truck for more than one accounting period, it will generate economic benefit for more than one accounting period. There is no intention to resell this. But suppose you are the dealer of truck or you are the wholesaler of truck. In that case, the truck is your current asset. Right? Because you are buying the truck with the intention that you will resell this within one accounting period for making cash. So depend upon the criteria of the business, current asset of one business may be the non-current asset of another. Clear? This is all. Time is Now, what do you mean 
Quanto você executou? Liability they own also. So what do you mean by liability? As it we have already discussed. Liability. Liability is a kind of obligation. Arises because of some past transactions. Just like that. <coughs> liability is a kind of obligation. Arises because of some past transaction. Why you are increasing the liability or why you are committing the liability? With an intention. Intention that you have to settle down this liability in a period. So, <coughs> sorry. so you can say liability is a kind of obligation arises because of some past transaction and to settle down this obligation you need cash outflow asset providing economic benefit cash inflow and obligation to settle down obligation you need cash outflow suppose as for example today <coughs> you buy some item from one of your supplier on credit without making up the payment. So past transaction, with this past transaction I commit a kind of obligation. Obligation means liability I have to settle down. I'm an obligation, I'm a settle down. So when I have to settle down this obligation, I have to meet up the payments. And meeting up the payments means outflow of cash. So liability for the business is any kind of obligation arises because of some past transaction and to settle down this obligation you need cash outflow. Clear? Now this obligation can be current, maybe <coughs> non-current. See? Trade payable, bank overdraft, <coughs> X, X, payable, interest payable, the finance cost you can say. So there may be several lot examples, but focus on this example. Trade payable. Trade payable means when you purchase any kinds of inventory or raw materials from your supplier on credit, that is trade payable. Trade payable. See, your supplier actually providing you or your supplier actually selling this item to you with a specific date term. That means you have to make the payment of this within one month or two months, not more than that. So, you have to settle down this obligation within one account in periodical cell. Bank overdraft. Bank may provide you some provision that by using your account in some cases for short term, you can overdraft some specific amount of money. Obligation arises, but you have to meet up those payments within one account in period, even within one month or two months, not more than that. Tax payable. Each business organization need to provide tax to the HMRC board or you can say revenue board. And each and every year the business have to provide this tax on the profit committed. So this obligation to be settled down within one accounting period. Interest, finance expense, finance cost you can say. If you borrow money from the bank or lender, you have to provide interest again that each and every year you have to provide that interest. So interest expense is a kind of current obligation. So obligation is current or non-current. It depends upon how much time you have to settle down this obligation. If the obligation to be settled down within one accounting period, those are current liability. But non-current liability, see, share bank, <coughs> share bank, bank loan. <coughs> Bank loan. Normally, we can borrow from our friends, we can borrow from different sources, 
one important source of borrowings is bank. Why organs should go for bank for making incomes of borrowings? When you are borrowing some specific amount of money 